In today's video, I'm going to be arguing that uh, flat Earth is actually more reasonable and logical than modern science. And no, 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 don't, don't, don't you, don't you knee jerk, don't you knee jerk. Let me finish my statement. I am not a flat earther. I think the idea that the Earth is flat is ridiculous. I think modern science is a lot more ridiculous. Now, before I start this video, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors. These guys are fighting for unity on the front lines every single day. Let's give a shout out to ISIS. <laughs> Let's look at this. It's worth a thousand words, so it's okay. Okay. Two plus two equals five, my t-shirt says, for extremely large values of two. Now that's extremely important because in fact, classical logic, such as two plus two equals five, or is four, it can equal five, is wrong. Mathematicians and physicists know that for extremely large values of numbers, you have to change the rules. And in fact, let's go to some of the things Dr. Craig talked about. And, and in fact, you can sum things that look ridiculous. For example, if you sum the series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 to infinity, what's the answer? Minus 112. You don't like it? Too bad. The mathematics is consistent if we assign that. The world is the way it is, whether we like it or not. So let's talk about the five pieces of evidence that, that Dr. Gray talked about. Now, some people really hate Lawrence Krauss, uh, especially like rational people, but I kind of like him because he has this childlike honesty, all right? And he's like a true believer. So he's not, he's not afraid to just say what's going on. And what's going on in modern science is that modern science has openly embraced irrationality and anti-rationality, all right? Quantum mechanics, relativity, all these like modern ideas are just as irrational as two plus two is five. And that shouldn't be surprising because the idea of ra rationality has been rejected, okay? <laughs> Lawrence Krauss specifically said classical logic is wrong. Classical logic is wrong because quantum mechanics invalidates it. Now, um, it is true that like, 2 plus 2 is 5 in some weird number system. I'm sure you can come up with or even just find some weird number systems where that's true. Like you have binary numbers where 1 plus 1 is 10, okay? That's not a normal number system though. So you could say 1 plus 1 is 10. Aha! I'm using binary numbers. That's, that's fine and dandy. You really have to state that you're using binary numbers. But my point is that's still a valid argument, right? But he's saying classical logic is invalid. Even if you're using like binary numbers or some kind of alternate number system, classical logic is still correct. We're still using this idea of logical consistency. Now, some people might say this clip is taken out of context or whatever. So I encourage you, you can watch the full video. He's using zeta functions and he's incorrectly applying them and this and that. Now, he says the same thing in the um, William Craig video in his Hamza debate, he, he always says this one plus two plus three plus four is minus one twelfth point in like all his debates. So it's not just like him misspeaking one time. Okay, so now we're gonna get to flat earth and how is modern science more ridiculous than flat earth? Now, two plus two is four is the most um, clear truth you can get. All right, so now your job as the science defender is to show me anywhere in flat earth theory where people deny basic logic. Because I listen to like some flat earthers, right? Made for fun and whatnot. And all their arguments are based on logic, okay? And evidence, they're based on logic and evidence. In my opinion, it's very low quality logic and evidence, but they're still 
at least trying to use logic and evidence, okay? That's something that modern science doesn't do. Nothing in flat earth is as irrational as two plus two is five. Next, flat earthers do not force their views onto other people, okay? Um, maybe some, some do and I'm wrong, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never met a flat earther who ever tried to force their views onto me. They try to convince me, they give me some logic, they give me some videos, they give me this and that, right? But at the end of the day, if I don't care about flat earth or if I don't want to accept it, they just say, okay, well, that's that. I'll talk to someone else. Fine. Science most certainly does not do that. Science is incredibly invasive, okay? Modern science specifically, all right? Modern science is stuff like COVID-19, you know, uh, climate change, environmentalism. These ideas are enforced. You are having money taken from your salary. Every day you're being taxed money to fund these ideas and not a small amount, a very, very large amount, okay? These ideas absolutely are forced onto you through violence. If you don't agree with the COVID-19 narrative, the government is going to send police to kick down your door and make you comply. One of the ways I measure how anti-rational a group is, is their anti-rationality uh, multiplied by their forcefulness, right? It's one thing to be anti-rational, but when you're super forceful and trying to not only push, but force these ideas onto other people, that like multiplies your wrongness, okay? Okay, and finally, I'd like to say, you know, if you look at any of these uh, science popularizers, they spend so much time fighting flat earthers. It's like the big thing. It used to be evolution, today it's flat earth. There's all the science community fighting the flat earthers. And you know why that is? I think the reason why is because they're not even confident enough to take on a stronger opponent. You know what I mean? It's like if I go into a boxing rink and I see this uh, supposed awesome boxer consistently beating up these like s s tiny stick chicken people, right? I'm like, maybe this guy's not ac actually that good at boxing, you know? Maybe they should be taking on like a stronger opponent than like the weakest person they can possibly find, right? And the funny part about that is they can't even beat the little stick chicken guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of modern science is so ridiculous. It, it makes flat earth seem much more plausible and reasonable.